What's up guys? Welcome to my private lake. No, I'm just kidding. I used to work down the street and a certain local who lived in this general area, he would always tell me that these ponds are really good to fish after it rains. Uh, it has been raining all day long and I have got a brand new setup, a true micro light setup, and I'm gonna follow his advice. I'm gonna try to catch some fish. Even the overpasses are fancy out here. This actually looks like a really interesting spot. This uh, canal that links up these two incredibly extravagant looking ponds looks like a perfect place for fish to intercept a bait. This is the Bass Pro Shops Micro Elite. Seven ball bearings, holds about 150 yards of six pound line, so a very deep spool for such a small reel. It's got an all metal handle, which I like, and a metal spool. Very sensitive drag, you can hear every click, every little setting clicks. And listen to this, perfect. And I'm fishing this on the Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special, five foot six inch micro light rod. It is a real joy to hold, that's very compact. Stiff EVA foam handle. Doesn't have a lot of give to it, which is nice because it's very sensitive. It's a two piece rod and it throws a 16th to a fourth of an ounce, and that's what we're using. One 16th of an ounce jig head with a little bit of this earthworm on the end of it. It's incredibly well balanced. Very excited to catch some fish on this. The whole thing costs about $100 $40 for the reel, $50 for the rod. Let's get some bait out there. Now, I feel I should make it clear, as I do quite often. I'm not sponsored by Bass Pro Shops or anyone else for that matter, but a lot of people ask me where I get my gear, especially uh, younger or newer anglers want to know, so I like to say every now and then, all of this came from Bass Pro Shops, and this line is a H2O line, that's the Academy brand, it's very supple, uh, so the six pound line in the H2O is going to be thinner and softer than the six pound line in a lot of other uh, brands, especially like Berkeley. It's not quite as abrasion resistance, but it is very, very soft. Nice cast. And this is very sensitive. I can feel every little bump of that jig head through the rod. Yep, fish, fish, fish. Yep, fish on. Oh my goodness, it's a big tilapia. Check that out, guys. He just quit fighting. He just literally gave up. Let's get our net. Okay, now he, now he figured out he shouldn't just give in. But uh, let's go ahead and net this guy. That's a good first fish. Get my plars out. There we go. It's a nice first fish. This is the first fish on our new micro light setup. He didn't really put up much of a fight. It's it's kind of hard to judge, but but uh, it is a nice fish to have on a micro light setup. Very nice. And by the way, guys, if anyone is curious, these are. Just a small pair of pliers I got from a Bass Pro shop. Cabela's owns Bass Pro, or vice versa, I can't remember. But I got these for like five bucks out of their little bin in the front. So for younger, newer anglers, um, nice little pair of pliers or a multi-tool is a must. Get yourself a good one like this. Not too expensive, it won't break the bank, but it will do the job. All right guys, I think we might have a fish on. Yep, yep, there we go, he's on. Got a fish, boom, what we got? Oh, a catfish. God, these guys are greedy. Tiny, tiny little guy. <laughs> I do like those little spots they have though. Very pretty looking fish once you get up close and start to admire their, their array of colors. It should tell you something that this catfish took a bait 
took a bait the same size as that, you know, three pound tilapia or two and a half pound tilapia took. That's how voracious these fish are compared to everything else. All right, I want to try over here. There is a, a grate. That grate there, there's going to be a drain system that runs out into the pond right in front of it. And uh, when I was walking up to that little channel, I could see some pretty big fish taking insects off the top of the water. Really good sign for some big bluegill, which would just be the, the best species, I think, to, uh, to catch on this micro, micro setup. One hit right as I was talking about it, right in front of me. So let's go ahead and get it out there, not waste any more time. All right, guys, I just saw one come up over here. This is also where I got snagged a moment ago. So it might very well be that there's a structure down here drawing fish to it. Which if that's the case, I'm going to give this a little bit dead sticking. Uh, let it do some work on its own. Ooh, guys, we, oh, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. Take it, take it, take it. Yep, fish on. Fish on, there he is. Feels like a bluegill. Let's find out what we got. He might, he might be a bluegill, he might be something else. Oh, look at that. You like the way I say it might be something else? That way if I'm wrong, I'm still covered. I don't have to look like an idiot on camera. I think it's this exact species or something else. Beautiful freshwater drum. Really like these guys. Can you hear him? Pretty fish, real good looking animal. Oh, there he goes, okay. I knew he was gonna get away from me about a second into that, so just kinda lean over the water. Uh, good catch, good catch. This rod is uh, really holding up well. Three different species on it now. Uh, very tiny little channel catfish. I almost feel like we shouldn't count that one because it was so small. Uh, but then we had a good sized tilapia and a nice little freshwater drum. This thing is really holding its own. So guys, this is always something that I find incredibly beneficial to give a shot. These little round extensions of the sidewalk provide a really good spot for fish to um, to hide and to hunt. So you'll find little bass and sunfish and stuff like that, drum, in the pockets waiting for smaller stuff to come around the edge to grab it. So anytime you see something like that, I would definitely recommend casting a line down there. There we go. Little tilapia. Tiny little guy. In fact, he looks a little deformed. His, uh, his tail might have been bitten off by something. Look at that. Nice little fish. The dorsal fin these guys have is absolutely ridiculous. But you can see that tail. That tail is missing quite a lot and yeah you can see it's a little bloody near the ends something had to go at this guy yep okay there's the bite it's like it's like a non oh it's just not committing he's not committing and he's not even taking the worm off the hook this has got to be an incredibly small fish. Oh, that's not a small fish. That feels like a bass. Something just smashed it. Oh, maybe it's a drum. I'm going to stop guessing. Yep, there it is. It's a drum. Bass tend to uh, tend to stay in one spot. These guys will run 
big circles really fast. I'm just gonna kind of skate him over. Beautiful fish to have. Really like these guys, very, very pretty. Let's get this one back in the water. Beautiful animal. Good catch, let's get him. Whoop. Hold still, buddy. Get him back. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Surprise fish. Surprise fish. Oh, it's a good tilapia. He just took, oh, good grief. I'm trying to get that little loop out of the spool there. Ah, don't want to lose this fish. There we go. He's a good one. Nice fish. Nice fish. He is uh, whew, right on the limits, right on the limits of what we could flip. That's a beautiful fish. I see a lot of disturbances out in that pond. A lot of fish seem to be coming up to the top, taking something. Ooh, there's a fish right there by the bank. There's a few more down to my left. That's a turtle, it's not a fish. But there definitely seems to be fish in here. Let's, uh, let's have a throw out here. I just can't pass this up. We're here, we're rigged up, ready to go, and it does appear that there are fish biting. Go out once more. Again, drop shotting worm. Very light six pound line. I'm gonna keep this pretty close in front of us, right at the edge of these reeds. Already, already. Ah, missed him. Ah, I missed him, but that was definitely a fish. Yeah, he bit the worm in half. Okay, let's put it right back out, same spot. Yep, there he is, he's got it. Yep, now he's on. That's a fish on. Tilapia, man. Let me show you. They are everywhere out here. Absolutely everywhere. There we go. There is no other freshwater fish more adept at stabbing you in one of these and he's in the water get out of here i think catfish hurt more when they do it the tilapia it's it's pretty hard to hold on to their body type something about the way they're built they just slide right out of your hands let's do once more just underhand pitch some of these puppy dogs really angry at me which makes me sad because i love dogs all right let's Let's just swing it out right there. That is a good spot. Oh, no way. No way. Yep. Oh, I lost him. Oh, that was a fish. Took our bait. God, these guys. Voracious. Voracious red worms. Going through this whole canister today, but I'm, I'm fine with that. This one's shorter, so hopefully if that fish takes again, it'll be uh, more likely hook up. All right, let's get this back out. Let's see how long it takes. There's probably like a hundred of them just schooling right there, and that's what's happening. Nothing on that one. There we go. Bet you that gets a bite. Already, yep. Yep, fish on. Fish on. Good one, too. Oh my goodness, that is a good fish. What do we got? Tilapia. My goodness, guys. Check this out. Oh, come here. Ridiculous. Crazy. Crazy how these things are just 
biting everything. All right, guys, that is it for today. Bass Pro Shops Micro Light Elite. Definitely a winner in my book. Real good day of fishing in these ponds. Man, they are just absolutely full of fish. Loads of drum, loads of tilapia, lots of good fun. Don't forget to like the video, guys. Share the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell beneath for all the notifications. When I upload a video, you are the first person to know about it. More is coming. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later.